travel guide, astronaut. New York City, but surrounded by mountains, either Italy or Vietnam. Welcome to Fermentary Encounters. Hi, Christina. Hi. It's the first time meeting you, so tell me more about yourself. So my name is Christina Mallon. I am the head of inclusive design at Wonderman Thompson, which is one of the world's largest advertising agencies. And at night, I am one of the co-heads of Open Style Lab, which is an inclusive design incubator, where we focus on ensuring that all experiences, especially in fashion, are accessible. The reason why I care so much about inclusive experiences are, is because about 10 years ago, my arms became paralyzed. Uh, slowly over time due to motor neuron disease. I felt so left out of experiences and then realized 20% of the world has a disability, but no experiences are created for them. So I knew that it had to be my life's mission to become an inclusive design leader and really change how experiences are to really include people with disabilities. I read about Open Style Lab. Please tell me more about uh, what is the work uh, that uh, you guys are doing sure. there. Open Style Lab um, is an incubator where we focus on having fellows that are occupational therapists, fashion designers, and engineers. Some things that we've created is a Metro card reader. And you know, let's say you're a mom with you know a baby in one arm and a package in the other and you need to get on the subway. It's a necklace and you drop it in the subway card reader and swipe it. That was initially created for myself who you know, lives in New York City and takes the subway and they needed to be able to get in there. Constraints create innovation. And I think you know, what has made you know, sense and, and perfume so important in my life is because I can't hug people and I can't experience things in a tactile way because I can't move my arms. So scents um, have been really heightened for me. What role do you see yourself playing in wellness? Wellness movement is so important. We should ensure that all of it is designed inclusively so that everyone can have a part of this wellness revolution that's happening here. I always consider fragrances very linked to wellness. The way I think about fragrance, the way I design fragrances to make people feel good, feel happy. I think what's really interesting is that fragrance in some cases is something that you can control. So you can control your wellness routine using fragrances. Absolutely. What scents make you feel good? So I have three particular scents that I really just, when I put on my face just brightens and that's really jasmine and, and sandalwood uh, and eucalyptus. So um, this is a jasmine. Very nice. What's, uh, what's interesting about this jasmine, it has uh, a lot of freshness. It's quite uh, green. It's one of my favorite jasmine, actually, uh, is, to use in perfumery. It's also part of a um, sustainability program that Firminich has with a company in uh, India. And we are really trying to, to give back to the community, to support the, the farmers, and assure that this product is still going to exist for years to Yeah, come. I love that. I would like to share with you a um, material that I like a Ooh, lot. Surprises. Yes. It's called Zestover. It's very green. It's yeah. uh, leafy. I feel like I just walked into a greenery. I wish there was like an Instagram for scents because I feel like scents can even bring you farther back into a memory that maybe photos might not be able to do. I am absolutely convinced of that. And that's a great idea. It was really lovely to meet you today. Our discussion inspired me uh, greatly. To talk about inclusive design and to make time to have these conversations around social sustainability means so much and just really shows that you guys are future forward thinking. <laughs>